Tom here with David, and uh, he's here to see a couple bands. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, uh, the big one that I'm here to see is uh, the Carriage and Mist. Uh, they're a couple friends of mine, uh, kind of a death metal sort of uh, band. Uh, they're based out of Atlanta. Mainly here for them, uh, here to see my friends of Mirza. Uh, they're kind of like a Symphony X between the Buried and Me kind of thing. Um, Icarus Nocturne, uh, of course, I'm here to see that. Pretty much, it's a, it's a pretty good show. Right, right. We're here with uh, excerptshow.com, and we have the band... Arjun Myth. Arjun Myth. All right. Yeah. Um, briefly, tell us, like, what's your, what are some of your more famous songs you want to know about? Um, well, right now, it'd probably be uh, Him of the Ghost and um, Skeleton Ragnar. It'd probably be, I guess, our most popular. Those are the two uh, they had up on Facebook for a little while. Um, yeah, Kevin the Ghost, Skeleton Grinder, definitely the two most. Got a lot of downloads, I guess. A lot of downloads. Yeah. So check that. Um, who would you say who influenced you the most? Wow. What bands? I mean, I mean, we've been coming up in like the underground for a little while. Um, but I guess I'd have to say, I mean, at least for me, like my some of my major influences in the beginning anyway have been like bands like The Black Dahlia Murder, The Faceless. Job for a cowboy and stuff like that, but a lot more recently it's just been, you know, maybe more gritty bands like uh, like grindcore, like Napalm Death and uh, Carcass, uh, Cow Decapitation, bands like that. You like any older bands? Oh yeah, a lot of older bands. I mean, looking uh, Mayhem is like a pretty good influence. Not even just like heavy stuff, like even softer bands like like Wood to Be Prey. Like For, uh, personally, me, um, Thursday, I know Thursday did this very big jump, uh, personally, drummer-wise, Shannon Lucas, uh, John Wright, you know, again, Jopper Cowboy, but you know, heavier, faster band, drummer who's been doing this for a very long time. So you describe your sound off of that. Our sound, um... I mean, we, we've evolved a lot over the years. In the beginning, we were really more of like a, a deathcore band. Yeah. You know, it's kind of embarrassing to say, I guess. Well, we can start somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> we've evolved into more like uh, like death metal, you know? Like, well, I guess you could say black and death. Uh, Behemoth is actually a huge influence on us uh, right now. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of grind in there. I don't know. We, we try to mix it up. A lot of death metal, but we still have like the heavier aspects or like the blackened aspects. Like, uh, thought particularly, uh, Lunar Mechanism has a really like blackened kind of part. Uh, it comes out now like something shitty. So yeah. Kind of cool. How long have you been playing the drums? I've been playing drums for a little over six years. I started when I was 15, I'm 20. How long did it take you to learn how to sing like that? Oh, <laughs> um, a while. I, I mean, I started when. Like the first band that um, I was doing in high school, like I started playing bass, and then like we didn't have a vocalist, so I just switched vocals. I had no fucking clue what I was doing at all, <laughs> so I was just like just yelling basically. And then over the years, it just kind of developed. I'm still developing it, trying to make it sound, you know, I guess as I mean, as much as a depraved toilet man as possible, along with maybe a little That's bit awesome. of a lot of kids man too. Always room for improvement. Yeah. You guys are good. Yeah, you guys are fucking off. Thank you. We, we yeah. definitely, definitely appreciate that. All right, we're here with. Uh, all right, and uh, if you have some questions, um, what do you guys think your most famous song? Chance of Titties, right? Say more than one of the two. 100% Chance of Titties is about black and blue on Monday night. Folks always go. You got cheap alcohol. You know, you can see movies. So, yeah, yeah. Despite the weather channel, man, if you go, there's 100% Chance of Titties if you go. So. <laughs> and I reckon, uh, say words, son, be, you know, in the running with it. So, we like to keep it real. We like to make song titles funny, man. We like to make you laugh as well. You know what I'm saying? Everything ain't got to be as serious as what everybody wants to be. Uh, how would you describe your sound? I would say we're a mixture of all genres. That's why another reason. Mainly metal and breakdown and groove. You might like catch, that. you know, different styles of music and genres from, you know, I would say what, like, boys' core, death core, 
you know. Hardcore. You know, old school hardcore, new school hardcore. You know, we even put some old school metal in it, you know. Yep. So we like to mix it up. Mix it up, it. man. <laughs> That's a whole other reason why we call ourselves party for Ready to do songs, DVDs, and all that. We're going to have to record next month. Probably have like a, we're just going for like 70 songs, maybe 8, 9 songs. And uh, the new song is called After a Chance. It'll be on there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got some other new songs called Party Before Work. It's pretty much just saying. Follow the man and do what you do on a Friday night. Have fun with your crew. And what else we got? Uh, Morning Woods. Morning Woods. That's a new one. It's a new one as well, you know. I just got, you know, I got an idea when I was waking up. You got a, you got quite a bit of ink there, ready? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, I don't know if everybody knows. I'm actually considered tattoos by Cheesy. I'm gonna open it up a tattoo parlor in uh, Farmer off the River Road, 3295. It's called the Gallery. Uh, check us out. We should be opening around September 24th. Gotta wait for the and everything like that. I'm mean, gonna you know, put my blood, my sweat, and other people's tears into this shop. So my blood too. We all been working on it. I, I, I know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. I'd like to thank my band right here. I'd like to thank everybody. I'd like to thank my girl right here. If it wasn't for her, you know, I wouldn't do half of what I do with this shop. So man, I appreciate y'all. Let me throw that in there. All right. It's a Bass Party Core at ReverbNation.com. And you can find us on Facebook. You guys got Twitter? It's Bass Party no. Core. We don't know how to work Twitter. It's hard, man. We don't tweet. No, sorry. <laughs> we give out free shots during the show as well, so. Yeah. yeah. What's the chance of running to see some boobies tonight? Uh, I think everybody just comes see us because we give out free alcohol. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> We're not that good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how I'm in.
Um, they're going to ask them a few questions about what they're going to be doing here today at Ground Zero and uh, go from there. So, uh, what? where are you in the rotation tonight? Uh, we're headlining as far as the fans are concerned. Okay. Um, and uh, what do you got coming up? You got a new record out, I hear? Uh, February 19th is the release date on Unique Theater Records. Coming right up. Uh, it's called Behold Almighty Doctrine. Uh, so look for that. Coming up soon. Be like a Best Buy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like Pick it up. Um, so any other, any other uh, venues you're playing? You have food? Uh, we're kind of uh, down. We just got off tour not too long ago. CSI and Jungle Rock. So we're kind of waiting for the record to come out. We'll start the tour cycle again. Good, good. Um, and uh, so you're going to start touring. Can you tell us who it? I can't say anything about that right, no, right no, now. But, right uh, now. It'll be a great tour. Uh, a couple tours come up. So we'll, 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 you'll see it soon enough, I guess. Do you have a website we can uh lecherousnocturne.net. Check us out there. Alright, we'll uh, we'll put that on the uh, description. Okay. And uh get into that. What what do you talk to an EP following up the record coming out next year? Uh yeah, absolutely. As soon as the, the record's out we'll do it out there after It's the metal life, you know, that is like yeah. uh seller, I think. Not the sunset strip. Where are you guys from?